maybe take us through the contrast between the couple of days after game two or the day after game two, just hearing from some of the guys sounded like the mood was not great and just uh, what kind of relief it was to, to get that win and maybe what it was like going to work today. Um, yeah, the mood definitely wasn't good after the first two games. Um, I feel like uh, everybody knew that, um, especially uh, game two. I mean, we competed really hard. Um, and I uh, felt like uh, we kind of let that one slip out of our hands uh, down the stretch. But, um, uh, you know, guys, guys weren't happy. You know, we're all full of competitors. We want to win. Uh, we know the type of team we have and um, the goals that we have uh, set for ourselves. So uh, it's not good to lose, you know. Um, so we just wanted to go out there and, and focus on getting one game and uh, leaving it all on the floor and doing that um, together for the full 48. Um, and I think we did that. You know, we set ourselves up for, uh, gave ourselves a chance to win. And um, we was able to pull that out. So, you know, um, we did that. Guys are, are feeling good. You know, uh, we knew game three was going to be a big momentum shifting game and really important game. So uh, uh, we wanted to definitely get that one. And Norm, if you look at that second half and the number of contributions you guys were able to get, it seemed like almost everyone in the rotation had a couple of moments where they made some really big plays. Mm -hmm. How do you think that sets you guys up for, for the rest of the year, game four? I think uh, it's really good, uh, you know, for, for guys to be able to come in and, and, and make plays down the stretch um, when we need them. You know, I think uh, guys on this team have all been in uh, situations like that, um, you know, when their name is called or uh, whatever it is that they got to uh, go on there and perform and produce no matter what role you're in, um, uh, how many minutes you get, you know, you're trying to go out there and make winning plays for the team. And I thought uh, everybody down the stretch, especially in the second half, was able to do that in certain ways. It wasn't always scoring. Um, those little things that uh, didn't show up on a box score, setting screens for guys to get open and get to the rim, uh, moving the ball, uh, things like that. I appreciate it, Norm. Have a good day. You too. Next, we will go to uh, Doug Smith. Go ahead, Doug. Hey, hey, Norm. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, about OG, uh, we've all, you know, we hear, we see one side of him. You guys see another side of him. What kind of guy is he and why does he sort of instill this we're really happy for you mentality from all his teammates. Uh, I just think uh, it's just how we are. You know, we want everybody to succeed, uh, you know, especially OG, you know, um, uh, last year, you know, him going out uh, with the appendix surgery and things like that and missing uh, uh, the playoff run and um, having to, to sit and watch him on the sideline. I know he was um, really bummed about that, you know, and he's worked really hard uh, uh, on his body and his game uh, to be prepared for, for this moment and moments like this. So, I mean, we're really excited for him. happy for him that he was able to come through uh, in a very uh, pivotal game for us and hitting the game winning shot. Um, you know, I work with OG a lot. Um, usually me and him uh, together shooting and yeah. things like that. So um, to be able to uh, to see him make that with all the hard work and his, his focus yeah. and things like that on the this, on this shot and his form and everything, uh, to see it pay off is really big. Thanks very much. And Nick was saying just a few minutes earlier that there seems to be more joy today than everybody's happier. Clouds have been kind of lifted. Is yeah, that a fair assessment? I, yeah, I think uh, when you win, you know, um, uh, it's a good feeling. You know, you, you want to ride that wave. You know, um, uh, if you're happy or feeling indifferent about uh, losing and it's just another game, then you're probably in the wrong field. You know, and, uh, you know, to be able to get a win like that and uh, give ourselves a, a chance, you know, um, uh, and to go out there and get another, uh, at least another two games uh, to go out there and play and, and and pick up another one to even the series out um, tomorrow. I know it's really big for us. So guys are excited. There's more juice. There's more momentum and uh, uh, more upbeat uh, feeling, more energized. Thanks, Norm. Appreciate the time very much. Next, we'll go to Josh Lewenberg from TSN. Hey, Norm. Thanks for taking the time. Um, Back to OG, e even as a young player, even as a, as a rookie a couple of years ago, he had some big moments in the playoffs. Normally, there's that learning curve for young players appearing in their first few postseasons. It takes some time for them to figure it out. As somebody yourself who made that jump really quickly and was able to perform as a rookie in the playoffs, what does it take to be able to do that and how difficult is it? Um, I, mean, I, can't, I can't speak for OG um, because um, I'm not him in the playoffs, but I can speak for myself. Um, honestly, it wasn't to, for me. At least, it wasn't that that big of a uh, a curve for me. I look I look at it as uh, another game, you know, where you can go out there and play and for yourself just on a bigger stage. I don't feel the pressure. I just go out there and play. 
Um, I think honestly, the playoffs is 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 pressure relief because there's no, nothing else that matters besides winning. You know, you're not worried about anything else but making plays to get the win. And so when you focus on that, you're able to uh, be free and um, just let the game take you wherever it takes you and, and read the game and, and go off of that. You know, that's what I did as a rookie and what I've been doing in the playoffs. Uh, let everything else go and fall into place where it may. But as long as you're out there trying to make winning plays, um, uh, you don't really think about anything else. So I feel like that's what OG feels uh, in the playoffs and he's able to perform and he's just focused on the task at hand. Thanks, Storm. Appreciate it. Uh, next, we'll go to SDNA Sports in Greece. Uh, please go ahead. Uh, hang on. Uh, is he there? Uh, Christos, are you there? Uh, he was there. Hang on one second, Norm. Nice one second. Almost did. There we go. Christos? Hello? Yep, Hello, there you are. Norman. We got you. Hello, Norman. Congratulations about last night's win. But I think you now you forget this result and you are uh, you are locked in on game four. So I would like to tell me this uh, win and the way that you won last night, uh, do you believe that will going to be a turning point for that series? Uh, definitely. You know, uh, like I guess that game threes are pivotal. Um, especially when you're down 0-2, uh, uh, we know that what it means to go down 0-3. So uh, it gave us a chance. You know, uh, I'm glad we got the win um, in the playoffs. It doesn't matter how you get the win as long as you do win. Um, um, and we did that, and now we're focused on Game Four. You know, uh, we know there's a, a lot of work to be done, and uh, we're taking it one game at a time. But um, you know, it was good. You know, you bask in the victory um, right up until midnight, and then you get focused for the next game. So. Um, mm -hmm. We take that win, and now we uh, use that energy and momentum uh, going into game four, knowing what we have to do. Mm -hmm. And about uh, Kyle Lowry, how special is, is this guy on and off the court for this team? And is the guy can inspire you? Oh, sorry, Christos, sorry, Christos. You broke up a bit. Can yeah. you go again? Uh, you hear me? You, you yep. hear me? Yes. About Kyle Lowry. How special is this guy on and off the court for this team? And is the guy who can inspire you to make a step up? Um, yeah, I mean, Kyle has been a, a very important piece to, to this franchise for a long time, you know, especially the team, his leadership, um, you know, his, his, gritty, his, his grittiness, his toughness, and uh, how he approaches uh, the game, you know, uh, giving his, his all to it, using his body, taking charge, you know, um, leaving it all on the floor, you know, I think. Uh, Guys feed off that energy, feed off that momentum. Uh, when you see him taking charges, diving on the floor, making the hustle plays, um, doing what it takes to win. You know, um, his sole purpose is about winning. You know, and the way he came out uh, aggressive and uh, um, attacking uh, uh, Boston uh, in the first quarter really set the tone and the pace for the game for us. You know, and he's been doing that for a long time, um, and we need him to continue to do that. You know, uh, and, uh, just being vocal and uh, telling telling us uh, what he thinks. Uh, uh, how we should play, different coverages and schemes off the court, um, and things like that. You know, he's, he's a real leader. Thank you very much. And nice shirt. Right, thank you. Uh, next question will be Aaron Rose from SI.com. Go ahead, Aaron. Hey, Norm. Um, Kyle Lowry was – Kyle was uh, almost unstoppable inside, it seemed. And, and for a guy his size, can you just how, – how impressive is that, it, that he's able to score um, – with his size, with so many big guys down low? I mean, uh, I feel like uh, he's been doing it for a long time, using his body. Uh, like I said, um, uh, I think uh, when, you got, when you're a little smaller in terms of uh, the guys driving them against centers who are 6'10 and, and up, you know, you got to be able to use different ways and tools and skills to be able to get your shot off. Uh, I think him and Fred do a great job of that, um, uh, negating their length by using contacts, making it hard for them to jump. Um, and block their shots. You know, you saw a lot of Kyle going into their bodies, uh, going balanced and uh, finishing strong. Um, I think he's been doing a great job of that. Um, something that we looked at and, and how we can uh, take away uh, their length and things like that, which is uh, by using the contact and using your body to shield uh, them away. And he did a great job of that all game long. Mm 